Hello everyone, today we're gonna do Fredo Crafts alkylation reaction. We're gonna use 1,4 dimethoxy benzene and as a and second reagent we're gonna use tertiary butanol and under acidic catalyzed we're gonna get 1,4 di tert butyl 2,5 dimethoxybenzene. Our reaction flask is gonna be our test tube. We're gonna work micro scale. So I just want to adjust my reaction flask and I'm gonna transfer my regions in our reaction flask. 1,4 dimethoxybenzene is a solid, so I'm gonna use that funnel for that. 120 milligrams of 1,4 dimethoxybenzene, and now I'm transferring that to my reaction flask. Dissolve that. May I need little warm this up with the hot water, which I did prepare already. I'm just gonna try gently heat that up to dissolve it. Looks like dissolved. Now I add 0.2 milliliter of tert-butyl alcohol. So now I'm gonna put my reaction flask in ice bath, let it cool down. So how I'm gonna do prepare the ice bath? That's my ice bath flask, the beaker. So my mixture has to be covered with the ice, but I will use some water too, so that way the ice cold water is going to be cover my reaction flask and it's going to be cooled down properly, add some water. Alright, so we're going to let it cool down and then when it's ready we will add or catalyzed sulfuric acid which is gonna be 0.4 milliliter we're gonna add that drop by drop now I'm gonna wait to get cool enough it's been 10 minutes and the temperature right now as you seeing around 5 degrees Celsius so I will start adding my sulfuric acid I'm gonna add 0.4 milliliter of sulfuric acid drop by drop. We just checked the temperature with the thermometer. It was like around 5 degrees Celsius. During that time, I'm keeping inside ice bath because we don't want the temperatures increase too much. And from each drop, we're gonna see. color of the solution is that and actually the solid gonna be formed during that addition which is our product we adding slowly we don't want the temperature increase too much we have done with the addition of sulfuric acid now with the string rod I will try to stir that up gently So 
let's take that off from ice bed. That's how it looks like right now. You can see that's our product. So I don't want to lose my product so that's why I'm going to keep my steering rod inside this solution to reaction. I will keep my reaction flask outside the ice bed. I want the temperature increase around 20-25 degrees Celsius which is room temperature and when it's reach that temperature I will keep another 10 minutes to complete the reaction. We keep our reaction mixture at the room temperature another 10 minutes to complete the reaction and now we're gonna put that in an ice bath pull it down and we're gonna add the water Once it's cool enough, we're gonna add two and a half milliliter of water drop by drop. We let it cool down our reaction mixture and now we're gonna add the water drop by drop, two and a half milliliter water. That's our crude product and we're gonna do crystallization with that with the methanol. Dissolve our sample in methanol and now we're waiting for crystallization. We are not bothering that, letting it cool down by itself and crystals gonna be formed during that time. So our crystals, now we're gonna put that flask in an ice bath. ice bed, those are our crystals. Now we're gonna do filtration. After crystallization our crystals, now we're gonna get the weight for the crystals. Let's see how much product we have. That's the product we have after crystallization. Now we're gonna get the weight for it. 
after crystallization that's the amount we have our sample is ready for melting point starting to melt And everything melted so it start 102.7 and it's done 105.1